Today, uh, we're going to start like, the afternoon here. We're going to be doing an engine oil cooler removal on a 2018 330i BMW. going to go after these six connectors as shown on the other video and so pushing down on this take a picture of your you go ahead and then that lifts up okay so what we're going to do is we're going to mark these as we pull them out right. okay so one of them we have to remove before we can get the last one out and that's this guy right there clip right here that you push in and it pulls out. Okay, so, so we pulled three of these out. This fourth one is empty, so note that. Okay, and then we've got this last one. It's on the other portion of the ECU. So this box just slipped up out okay after we got all these out we still have this one wire here which is connected to this looks like it's number three and it's connected down here but can't see how that comes out yet so it may have to come out with the box I don't know we'll figure that out. so another one of these, these two this wire harness right here it's a bracket push that back in there's a clip down at the bottom that you have to push in and then pull up on that, pull up on that to get that. One problem, we're going to get the ECU out, there's some tabs there, push away from it, and then I'm going to pull that. Okay, we pull those tabs, and then we're just pulling the ECU out, and we're going to go mark it, so this is number one. So we got that out. We don't have the box out yet, but we got to get all these wires away. So we've got to disconnect this. There's another clamp here and other clamps that hold the wire harness. So we're going to try to remove those next. Clip on the very bottom where my first index finger is to the left. And then once you push that, you just pull up. Pull up. Okay, so that's getting out of the way. Next thing, getting this out of the way. that's out of the way hey we can see what we're trying to get at which is way down in hell okay so we still can't get this one off for some reason which is connected to this so it looks like we're gonna pull out the box so there's a screw right here you know, it's hard to see we're gonna go with that it looks like a 10 millimeter okay that's not a 10 millimeter it's an 8 millimeter all right so we've got that out so now we're gonna try to Pull up this box. Sounds like it's stuck. Oh, right here. Right. There's a screw right here. I knew there was another one. Yep. Okay, so there's another screw right down there. Same thing. Eight millimeter. The box is still connected to this wire harness. Point to it right there. So we've got to get that off. As we're heading through this journey trying to get this box out. So this is zip tied in. So I'm just going to cut that. Okay, so that bad boy's there. So now we're trying to figure out what's going on here. So we got some stuff back here. I don't know what that is, but it's hooked to the box. It's right here. So you just gotta kind of reach your hand down. You feel that down clip and get that clip. Push the clip there. in and then pull up. And pull up. So that gets that out of the way. Okay, so the last thing that we think is this hard line that is connected to the box. A clip up top. Right here where my finger is. Yep. Pull that out. And then there's a clip on this midway through. So we got the box out. Here's this clip that has the hard line. And now uh, that last little one that we got to better make sure we don't forget it. Gotta get 
get these two guys out. And we gotta label them. One right here. One right two, here. Three. One right now here. you can see that two of them are facing one way and one's facing the other. So you're gonna have to get some pins in there and push them the right way. So we used a couple of these on two of them. We had to have both of us do it. Third one put that other pin in right on that one right here and we just slid it out so I recommend those straight one just three of those straight ones that go in there and then that'll all come off so the box is out okay so here's this bracket right here to hold the hard line so that's what we were trying to get off and that was a little bit difficult okay there is our guy we don't know what's wrong with it yet we know it's leaking so now we use the other video with regards to how to get this off and there is, I think there was five bolts. Um, Alright, so this goes hatch way underneath. This clip is right on the top. It's hard to see to pull that out. So that clip is like that. So you gotta get in there and get a screwdriver in there to get this clip up. So I did I wanted it to have some degrees of freedom to move so I wasn't gonna break it. Okay, so we got this hose out now. So I just got this up out of the way. Pulled it again. Watch this hose. That's the delicate one. Okay. And it looks like we have clearance down to there. So now see a shiny bolt back there. But we had to take this hose off and we retracted it back. It goes onto the charge manifold right there. So we had to take that off. This clip is not on the top, it's on the side. So look for it on the side, which is to the back of the motor. Okay, so here's a lesson learned when you're taking this thing out, okay? So you got one, two, three, four bolts, okay? Number three and number four Number four, you really can't see. It's blind. It's hidden behind this, the heat exchanger that goes right there. This one you can see, but it's hidden by wires. I know it's tempting to take these two off first, but what happens is when you take these two off or loosen these up, this thing tilts, okay? Then there's not much room to get to that bolt. And so if it's straight, as opposed to leaning like this you can get the wrench on there better so strong recommendation you can take it or not is go number four first then take three off which are the two the third one is the toughest one then go to two and then one so in the other videos they're showing you need an e10 socket okay so i went to the the, the harbor freight Actually, I went to O'Reilly's and got an E10 set. But this one's a 3 8 drive. I really strongly recommend that you find an E10 with a quarter inch drive, okay? And the reason why is because using a 3 8 do not use 3 8 extensions. There is just not enough room to get to number three and number four in a good manner. So it's easier to use this combination of extensions to get to the bolts. If you do have to have a 3 8 and that's all you've got, then I highly recommend getting a 3 8 to quarter inch extension, or excuse me, adapter for that to be able to get into that. Although I bought this, I didn't need it, but if you've got more dexterity than I do in your hands, this might come in handy. Um, but I did not need it specifically. 
So the engine oil cooler is going down there and you can see we've removed some hoses out of the way. Um, we'll be putting it in. Unfortunately, I don't have any video of us taking it out. So this one is the old one and it's, if you look at various other videos, it's broken and cracked in the same exact place. Okay, so this is the new one. The gaskets are in. Um, a word of warning, if when, before you do this, make sure that this part is in stock. We live here in Chandler, Arizona, and we had to go down to Tucson to get this piece of plastic, which was a mighty $591. We had to take off the oil heat exchanger on this side. And you can see where the bolts go. And we replaced it there on the new one. Now, the torque specs for these bolts are, are based on the um, BMW manual is 10 Newton meters. Okay. Now, we got this from the dealer. So we went down there, talked to the dealer, talked to the service guy, talked to a technician who gave us these pages. So on this one, torque sequence. So I'm not sure exactly what it was, but I did one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I just gradually did each one until I got to 10 Newton meters. The manual says for these bolts, which is there, that those are those are eight newton meters. So when we get this thing back in there, which is going to be a bear, we'll uh, tighten those down. And there is a torque sequence to those as well. This is the torque sequence. It's kind of hard to see, but this is where the oil filter is. And so you've got visible bolts, one, hidden bolt, two, which is a cross, then the top bolt, three, and then the cross bolt, which is visible, four. So you got to do that in that torque sequence. As you can see, we're cleaning off the surfaces down there. Looking pretty good. There's a little bit tricky part is that we're going to try to torque this to eight Newton meters with this nice big ass small torque wrench and we're doing number one first. Okay, so it is back in there. Now, number one, you can get with that torque wrench that I had. I'll show you that in a minute. Number four which is down here, behind there. That's number two. Or number two, sorry. So number one, up there. Number two is the next one you get a torque. I couldn't get to that one with the torque wrench. So we snugged it up, and we did it by feel based on number one that I could get to. You can see that back there. So then that was snug. Then number three, I could get with my torque wrench with the right uh, adapters and then number four down here which is visible that's easy so these are all torqued the top three are torqued to eight newton meters and the bottom one there is torqued to feel so that's it so now we got to start putting all these hoses back together so this hose here goes to this charge pipe this hose that we got out of the way we'll put this back underneath there and goes down underneath right there okay and then we got some other hoses here that go to that and we're just going to start putting that back together so this is the torque wrench that i used it's rather large it's inch pounds and of course newton meters and i've got a three ace to one quarter inch adapter so it's quite big um, if you can get a smaller one uh, to fit in there, the smaller the better. Maybe you can get to number, was it uh, the second bolt that you torque that I call number four. This wire harness is all back together. Now, one lesson learned is that one, two, 
three, four, five, six. So when you put these in, you gotta start an opposite order that you way that you took it out. You took one, two, three, four, five, six. I know it may be, it might be uh, tempting, but put six, five, four, three, two, one in. And that'll help. Okay, the BMW is now home. And uh, it was a couple of days work in a couple of videos and talking to various BMW mechanics they use a lift to get the car up um, although the lift came in handy uh, for trying to see how we could access the bolts we didn't have to use the lift the lift was not necessary everything was accessible once we took out the computer box and all the wires we could get to it and of course the hoses that we showed you.